construction has just begun on the new Eleanor Roosevelt High School and Community Learning Center. We're here with Ernest Twittenham, the developer of the massive multi-million dollar project. Well, uh, all this land, as far as the eye can see, will be bulldozed, uh, leveled to make way for the new high school. But remember, and let us never forget, that when it comes to building for the future, Twittenham Construction believes we must also preserve the past. Progress with preservation. Before the key word to this campaign is attitude. Now you want to project strength with the tad of vulnerability. You know what I mean? Hey, Mike Cole, vote for my man Arlo, right? Oh yeah, sure thing, Stuart. Hey, great shirt, Arlo. Look, it's just for one night. Hey, hey, then, Maddie, vote for my man Arlo, right? King of the Spring Fling. Do you want to be king of the Spring Fling or not? Well, of course. That's why you've got a campaign. The race is so close. You gotta meet with the student council. You gotta give a speech to Mike. I got it covered. It's in my appointment hey, book. Hey, dude, vote for Arlo. King of the Spring Fling. Hey, you too. Besides, a future King of the Spring Fling and his girlfriend shouldn't be hanging out with a short, middle-aged lounge singer. I'll bet his act is really cool. And how could I tell him no? I mean, he's been on tour for three years. I haven't seen him since he became a lounge singer. And hey, they, they love him in France. Nerds before masculine perfection. Oh, after you, Nathan. Arlo, chew every bit at least 20 times, otherwise the masticatory process won't have a chance to... Hmm, I'll masticate later, Mom. What is it tonight? The Drama Guild, Pep Rally, Honor Society? Um, no, we're going to see Gus. He's back? That short, middle-aged lounge singer? They love him in France! Get the garage door, will ya? Sure. Bye. Bye. Oh, honey, look. Bill, would you get me some lettuce, please? I'm not sure if Arlo remembers to eat Gertrude. Hmm. Stuffy, get down. You've already had your dinner. Careful. Oh. Watch your fingers. They don't have teeth. Poor Gertrude. Oh, you must be lonely. She's the only one left. Thank God. Annie, Arlo no longer needs a garage full of reptiles. He's got new friends, human friends. Our son has finally moved into life's major league, human beings. Ship it coming, ship it coming, she be coming round the mountain when she comes. Three blind mousey, three blind mousey. But see how they're running now. They all run after their farmer's wife But she cutting off their tail with a butcher knife I never see such a sight in my life 
as three blind mice. Maybe it's an off night. Oh, MacDonald having a farm. E-I-E-I-O, thank you very much. With the quack quack here and the quack quack there. Here, quacky there, quacky everywhere. The quacky wacky old MacDonald having a farm. E-I-E-I-O. She'll be coming round. The lady will be coming round. She be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah, thank you. Grazie, gran piacere. Grazie. We're doing a four more show tonight, so you don't run away, okay? Grazie. Ready. Gus. Arlo. Arlo. Look at you, full of confidence. And Susie, you turn into beautiful girl. Girl? She beautiful woman, huh? Look, a beautiful woman. Oh, you know what your kids do for me? Oh, Gus. You were just awesome out there. Like, like I've never seen you before. You really think so? Good, huh? How many more cities on this tour? Well, oh, my. That, that depends on when I get new agent. Um, what's the name of the new album? Well, there's a bit of a delay with album. Arlo says they love you in France. Well, one time I sing at French restaurant. We, we are so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Remember when I was just a straight A Rubus with a garage full of lizards and frogs? Well, Gus was my friend. He gave me confidence to, to be with people, to be with you. I know Gus is an old friend, but let's face it, his act couldn't draw flies. I don't understand. I mean, all those postcards said they were turning people away at the doors. Maybe they heard him singing. <laughs> what? I was just thinking about the time you asked me to kiss that frog. Yeah? I finally realized what you were doing. You did? <laughs> sure. You just wanted me to prove that I loved you. I'm glad I don't have to kiss frogs anymore. I'd much rather kiss the king of the spring flame. What are you doing here? Hey, it's a free pond. Some of us have work to do. At this time of night? Oh, it's the best time to observe amphipods. And isopods. Right, but if you had a flashlight, you wouldn't scare innocent people. Pl plus, it'd be a lot easier to find them. Let's go, Harry. Poor Hannah, all she's interested in is science. Yeah, a real Rubus. Yuppie scum. Jake, you won't see me? Never again. Here. What this? Your take for tonight. Oh, but Jake, I have four more nights. Not anymore. Let me tell you, Prince, when it comes to live entertainment, you're neither. But if I ever see you again, it'll be too soon. Then 
I got you booked for the basketball game tomorrow. All you gotta do is show up, be seen, then slip out at halftime. Next, hit the girls' volleyball game at the gym. Shmooz, do you really think the Latin club is an important demographic? Oh, yes, and then we gotta hustle over to the chess club tournament just to let those little nerds know you haven't forgotten your old friends. Buongiorno. Oh, Gus. It's, it's okay, he's a friend of mine. Him? Arlo. Buongiorno, Arlo. Buongiorno. Um, Gus, this is Schmooze Pulaski, my campaign manager. Schmooze, Gus Prince. Pulaski, uh, Pulaski. I know I count the Pulaski. Prince, uh, are you an old friend of Arlo's? Uh, Schmooze, don't you have to check the posters at the printers? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Gotta go. Hey, call me, babe. Later. Jerzy Pulaski, he was a big fat fella, I remember. Um, Gus, look, I'm sorry, but I have so much to do tonight, I can't catch your act. Oh, that's okay. Nobody gonna catch my act tonight. What do you mean? I can't. Let go. Sam, Sean at the door. You got fired? What's the matter, me, Arlo? I, I got no career, I got no money, I got no more. What, what, what do you mean? Uh, all those postcards. I thought your career was doing great. Yeah, I only work at the second-rate lounges in the third-rate hotels, except for one really good French restaurant. But, but you got plenty of girlfriends, huh? Don't they recognize a bona fide prince when they see one? Sure, I've been a prince for 40 years, but I've also been a frog for 600. Gus, look, I know you were once a frog, okay? And, and you know you were once a frog. But that's over. It's, it's our little secret, right? I mean, if, if this gets out, then... Look, the witch's curse is broken. I mean, look at you. You're not only a man, you're a... a lounge artist. Mm. They love you in France. Yeah. Look, Gus, I'm... I can't talk right now. I, I gotta go. Arlo. Look, I know what my problem is. I need amore. I, I cannot live without amore. My heart need amore. My singing needs amore. My love need amore. Look, if there's anything that I can do to help, please oh. don't hesitate. Maybe you love me a few bucks? Sure. What are friends for, huh? Also, maybe I could leave my bag here for a few days? Why not? No problem. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Also, okay. since my bag here, maybe I could stay? Stay here, you? Just for a few days. My bunny life's over, that's it. My bunny life's over, the ocean. My bunny life's over, the sea. My bunny life's over, the sea. My bunny life's over, the ocean. Oh, bring her back. My money! He's only gonna be here a day or two until he finds another gig. Another gig? Singing like that? You'll remember the golden rule. Do unto other people's eyes as you would have them do unto you. Yes, but he's been in there for four hours. Gus has always loved the water. Hey, yo, Matt! I know, I know. Arlo the king of the spring fling. Hey, you know that shirt really looks good on you? Really? Yeah. Not a latest Arlo, I've been looking for you everywhere. I thought maybe we go to a nice matinee, huh? Um, Gus, no, um, I can't go to the movies with you. I've got class. Well, then, in that case, maybe I could... Gus, no, you cannot come to my class with me. Okay. I go to movies alone. Again. In the last few weeks, I've undertaken extensive ecological mm. field studies in the life of the pond. Mm -hmm. I intend to document the various factors that are man-made that may retard or even enhance the growth of the pond species. I'm particularly interested in amphibians. Yeah, I bet. For in freshwater ponds, amphibians are often the first organism to show the effect of outside stimulus because of the extreme sensitivity of their skin. Members of Salientia, frogs, have a fascinating history. Ribbit. 
<laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> they start off thinking they should be fish, but then realizing, perhaps through some inner voice that has guided their amphibian forefathers and foremothers throughout time, that they must leave their watery world, they must grow arms, sprout legs, grow those big eyes, no matter what kind of risk, no matter what kind of danger this must bring, because deep in their hearts they know that they must be, they are destined to be, they can only be frogs. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Arlo, lose him. But I'm his only friend. Get him another friend. Got a big pep squad rally tonight, huh? I love the pep squad. Nope, I'm going out with Susie. Oh, that's good. You know, I need to get out of the house. Gus. You can't come with me on my date. I mean, think about it. The three of us, it just wouldn't be cool. You don't want me to go? No, no, no. It's, it's nothing personal. It's just when you go out on a date with someone, it's usually with just one person. I understand. It's okay. I, I stay home by myself again. Maybe I do a nice show for your parents. They love my music. It came from this one again. I've seen this movie already four times now. It's a very romantic film. Well, you think the monster hiding behind the door, but no, he killed the girl later on in the Gus! Shh! Now what's he doing? I don't know, but at least he's quiet. This is the dumbest movie ever. <laughs> At least nobody's here. I know, I know, that's the idea. Harlow, is that you? Oh, Nathan. So, this is your friend from biology class. <sighs> Nathan, Gus, Gus, Nathan. Um, he's just, he's just really into this film. Hey guys, come here, I want you to meet Arlo's friend. You know, the one from biology class? So he's really into this movie. Well, he likes foreign films with subtitles. But, uh, they, they, they really like this movie in France. <laughs> you know, Arlo, you should really go out for the French vote yourself. Um, uh, Nathan, if any of your friends need help making an X on the ballot? Oh. We'll see come election day, aren't we? What is he doing? That girl at driving be okay, no? Um, sure, sure. The paramedics were there in no time. I'm sorry she fainted. Um, look, let's just put tonight out of our minds, okay? I mean, it was only an accident that you ate that fly. Okay, how's this? SSS seeks BP. What is this SSS BP? Short single singer seeks beautiful princess. Oh, that's nice, yes. Uh, true Renaissance man seeks beautiful princess for magic, romance, and a true love. Oh. Call 555-4810, ask for Gus. Maybe we should add also must like insects. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go Don't tell me. Oh, no, is he? Yes. yes. Has the prince mentioned an estimated time of departure? When 
it's like this, Dad. He can't move out without an apartment. He can't get an apartment without a job. He can't get a job without singing. He can't sing without love. I'm working on it. Yeah, now. All of us are different, and all of us are the same. We must realize that we're all on the same ocean, in the same boat. And if we don't help each other raise the sails and guide the rudder, we'll all be cast adrift. Wait, wait. He's finished. How right I am. How right I am. More soy cakes, anyone? Oh, I'll get it. You know, I noticed quite a few for rent signs on my way home from work today. Oh, I hope not too many people leave neighborhood. This is a nice place to live. Gus, it's for you. For Gus? For him. For him? For me. See, si, for you. Excuse me, please. I have a telephone call. Hello. Arlo, get rid of him. Yeah, I got it. Bill. See, si, ciao, ciao. Christopher Columbus, it worked. It worked. What happened? Arlo, you're a genius. Somebody want me. Somebody want to you? The person lad, a beautiful lady called and say, you sound like the man I'm looking for, the man of my dreams. Arlo, she sound Italian. <laughs> An Italian lady. Oh, sure. But it's hard to find a suit in this color. Okay, now remember, act like a biped, not a frog, no croaking, no riveting, and above all, no flies. No flies. I know. Got the address? She said, after 600 years, has my little prince come back to me? And so, as king of the spring fling, Arlo. 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 Gus. Of all the personal lads in all the world, that which see mine. Gus? Arlo, I... I'm a frog again. Good morning, Arlo. Dad! <laughs> You're up! Uh -oh. Yes, I got up early today so I could have my shower before it becomes occupied by the singing cavalier. All yours. Oh, Arlo, is Gus okay? Uh, Gus? Yes, we didn't hear him come back last night. Yeah, we didn't hear him in the bath. We didn't hear him in the refrigerator. We didn't hear him singing. Well, um, Gus had a, had a real sudden change of plans. <laughs> oh. Oh. 600 years, that wicked witch has not changed a bit. I cannot believe it. Well, believe it. She put another curse on you. But she still wants me to kiss her. Can you believe? Yes, I believe that. You're a frog, again. I wish you two could work this out some other way. I believe in Amore. I ain't never going to kiss a witch. Oh. So now, at the busiest time of my life, I, I have to break a witch's curse and get you kissed so you can become a man again. If it not interfere with your schedule, Mr. King Fling. Well, as soon as I can, I'll bring Susie here. I mean, she kissed you once. Seemed to work. I'll get her to kiss you again. Think it 
What are those? The roses. What do they look like? They look like they've already wilted. This is a rose. Oh, all right. I admit, yours are better than mine. Maybe I'm not making a rose. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm not cut out for this, I admit. So where's Arlo? Well, he's supposed to be here. Well, that's awfully nice for you to sit here and cut roses for him all morning when he's not even here himself. Well, he's, he's really busy. Susie, I, I have to talk to you. Arlo, look, I was looking for your friend yesterday. I had a fly in my soup. You know, I'll bet that passes as a witty remark in football circles. You really should wear your helmet more often. Where have you been? I've been cutting roses all morning and you haven't even been here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's going on? Schmoose says you missed two appointments already. Do you want to be king of the spring fling or not? Of course. Look, I, I have a really big favor to ask you. <sighs> Bigger than cutting a thousand roses all by myself? No. Well, maybe. Arlo. Look, remember when you kissed that frog for me? Arlo, now's not the time to get sentimental. I know, but... You're still not insecure, are you? Well, not me. What? I... I just... want a kiss. There. Enough nonsense. You've got roses to cut. Gus! Gus! Gus, where are you? In '93, one kiss from some signorina, one concertina, some company. I need a true love. The man in me. <laughs> grazie, grazie. Hey, grazie very much. Hey, hey, Arlo, you like my new act? Oh, you've got an act? They love me here. They say my act could draw flies. And Arlo, they especially like the old Italian songs. Oh, uh, meet the Beatrice. Oh, um... She's president of my family club. How, how, how do you do? Boy, Arlo, I wish I could have packed them in like this at Jake's. Well, make yourself comfortable, because it might take a little longer than I expected to get you kissed. Well, what about Susie? She not kissing me? Well, sure, but I, I, I think I need a little more time. Excuse me, Beatrice. <laughs> Let's face it, Arlo. Only one woman wants to kiss me, and she witch.
Buonasera, my little carrot top. Ah, I see already something troubled you. Well, well, well yes. See, a passionata know these things. I tell you one more. Uh, tarot cards, $25. Palms, 15 A uh, crystal ball, 5 And I give you a little tip just uh, for coming in next weekend. Cardinals over Dodgers. Well, um... Actually, I came about a spell. Oh, spells are very expensive. But for you? Oh, uh, no, no, it's, it's not for me. It's for a friend. Oh, of course, friend. Well, you know, Prince Giuseppe Buono Dono. Prince Giuseppe Buono... What? Um... Prince Giuseppe Buono Dono. He said you turned him into a frog again. <sighs> Prince Giuseppe. Oh. <sighs> Once in Italy, I give him chance to kiss me. What he do? He refuse. He turned down passionata inamorata. Nobody turned down passionata inamorata. You turned down passionata inamorata. I turn you into frog. Oof. Let him get kiss from somebody else. <laughs> well, Gus does have his faults. I say, you see that green tuxedo. Well, you see, as a man, Gus hasn't exactly been a big success. Huh. But I think with a little training, he'd have the hang of it. That's why it's such a shame that he is a frog again. It's shame for frogs what it is. You see, I was hoping, Miss Inamorata, that someone as compassionate as you, someone as nice and, and as kind... And... And, and... and... and nice. And... And... Um... Beautiful? <laughs> Someone as beautiful as Passionata in Amorata could turn Gus back into a man. What? Please, Miss Inamorata, only someone as beautiful as you can help. Well, I don't know. I'm not usually so easygoing, but uh, I like you. My little carrot top. Um, so, so you'll turn Gus back into a man? In three nights' time, when full moon trines with the Venus and the Mars, you meet me in the Shakespeare Gardens, and I change Prince Gus back into what he was before. You want to call that the man, it's up to you. But it will cost you. Oh, uh, anything, anything. Well, all Prince Giuseppe has to do is give me on a bacio. Un bacio? A kiss. A kiss? <laughs> A kiss? I cannot believe you visit that witch. She dangerous, Harlow. Gus, it is the only way. No, impossible. You just gotta kiss that witch. What's the big deal? How can you expect me, Prince Giuseppe Bonodono, to betray a more by kissing witch? Kiss is magical thing. It, it's sign of love. Gus. All I want you to do is give Passion out a one little kiss. I mean, it'll be over before you know it. Hannah! Hannah! Thanks a lot, Harry. You just scared away all the frogs. Not all of them. Arlo's talking to one, and it's talking back. Come on, hurry! See? 
see what? He just finished talking to a frog. Harry, I think you've been sitting too close to the TV. Arlo! I saw you at the pond last night. Uh, you, you did? There's some unexplained phenomena occurring there. Uh, I have an explanation for that. You know about the isopods? The isopods? One day I establish the number in the hundreds, the next day I can't find any. Oh, the isopods. Listen, Arlo, I don't particularly like associating with your type either, but Mr. Fritzky says you're still the best when it comes to freshwater ecologies. I need to use your lab. Look, look I'm, I'm just not the science nerd that Mr. Fritzky once knew. I mean, I can't help you. Look at this, I'm book solid. Four o'clock, share a personal perspective with the drama club. 4.15, engage in witty banter with the wrestling team. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. There's a space right here. 12 midnight? Okay, I'll see you then. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. I am totally blown. Yeah, so am I. It's too bad you're so busy. Look, I have to pull my car in. I thought your lab was in here. Hannah, can, can we please do this some other night? Besides, we don't want to be breathing in the stinky exhaust from that internal combustion engine. Wait, you have, you have something against cars? Oh, I have nothing against cars. Except for the fact that the world is drowning in their effluvium of noxious exhaust which contributes to global warming via the greenhouse effect. Their entire source of power is a finite resource which is rapidly dwindling even as we speak. I'm very, very tired. So, where's the lab? Look, all my stuff is packed up in these boxes. I'll tell you what, stay as long as you want. Help yourself. I'm going to bed. Don't worry, I won't bother you. Great. Yeah. Good night. Is the microscope in here? Wait, 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 wait! Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi. hi. Um, this is Hannah Hoppendimer. Hi. Hi. She's in my class at Roosevelt. Oh. I'm just helping her with a school project. Oh. She's using some of my stuff. Oh. Um, she's a scientist. Oh. Well, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Now, don't stay up too late. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming right in. Don't stay up too late. Anything? Nope. I think I better go back to the pond before school and collect some more blood samples. Don't you ever stop? Arlo, this study could lead to a major discovery. You'd realize this if you weren't so busy trading witty banter with the tennis team. Wrestling team! Does it matter? What is this? It's eye drops. Look, nobody wants to vote for somebody with red eyebrows. Look, don't fall apart on me now, especially since I got the results of the latest polls. And? 
And given a margin of error of plus or minus three points, Nathan's beating your butt. Hey, Hannah, what's in the bag? Lunch? Yeah, how would you like to eat it? Ooh. Hey, Hannah, where are your waiters? You know, I almost didn't recognize you. Beauty treatment. Give it back. It's for the mud bag. No, give it back. It's really important mud. So what is she's a rubus? I wish they wouldn't pick her. Oh yeah, this is Give it back. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Gus, you ready? As ready as I ever be. Well, Beatrice, uh, arrivederci. You most wonderful frog I met, but I have to go. She got a little attached to me. Well, let's go see Passionata. Hey, let's get this kiss over with. The election is this Friday. I have a lot of campaigning to do. Hey! Hey, Arlo! Oh, hi. Well, Gotta go. I suppose I should express my gratitude for rescuing my field samplings this morning. However, it really wasn't necessary. I'm quite accustomed to the persecution of the mob. Oh, it was nothing. Well, gotta go. Harry and I have returned to conduct more tests. Oh, good luck. Well, gotta go. Hey, Arlo, what are you doing with that frog? What frog? There, the one you're always talking to. <laughs> God, cute kid. Well, can it talk or not? Make it say something. Harry, let me reiterate. Scientifically speaking, it is impossible for any amphibian to communicate in such a vocal method that we identify as talking. They communicate, of course, but through a variety of croaks, which is nothing more than audio stimulus for the commencement of procreation. Make it say something. Hi, you nosy little nerd. See, it's magic. Well, gotta go. Satisfied, Harry? Magic. That was a close one. That Hannah, she's very interesting. Yeah, she's also a rubus. I knew a ruba once. <laughs> well, her prince has come, but which not here? Well, maybe she changed her mind. Nah, she always late for her dates, even 600 years ago. Wait. What, 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 what is that? Giuseppe, are you finally ready to kiss me? Uh, he, he's ready, Miss Enamorata. Gas, are you ready? Okay, okay, I'm ready. You ready for what? I'm ready to kiss you. Yeah, all right then. My little carrot top, bring him over here. 
the things you do to become a man. From upon this spot of a scummy pond, past the moon to the stars beyond, I call the powers of the universe to gather round and to reverse the curse, transform this creature of the mud into a being of flesh and blood. He wears now a coat of a mossy green and stuffs his face with a baggy cuisine. His legs can't walk, he only leaps. To sensitive types, he gives the creeps. Give him arms, legs, ears, and eyes. Free him from this amphibian guise. Give him back a thing and the dog into a man he must become. And this a polywog curse forever dismiss when he grants this beautiful witch a kiss. Appassionata, please. <laughs> all right, all right. She did it! You're a man! <laughs> now, all you have to do is kiss me. All right. All right. Just kiss me and say, Ooh, I love you, my sweet little snorkums. Uh, that's not part of deal. Just kiss. It's part of the package now, Montemillo. Oh, God, let's... She's really not asking all that much, so just do it and it'll be over with. All right, all right, I do it. I hate it, but I do it. You do what? I kiss you, and I say, I love you, my sweet little... My sweet little snookums. Snookums, yes. And then you sing me the song, My Fuzzy Little Bonnie. My fuzzy little bunny. Gus, Gus, listen, you're a singer. I mean, if anybody can sing my fuzzy little bunny, it's you. Hey, what do you mean by that? I mean, you're enough of a professional to sing anything. All right, all right, I do it. Put that on. Your sweet little snowcombs is ready. All right. I kiss you. Mm. I say I love you, my sweet little snowcombs. I sing for you, my fuzzy little bunny. But first, I tell you something. I rather kiss foot of dead rat. Excuse me. I rather have all toofies yanked from mouth and ground to tiny pieces. Just a mini bastard. I rather have legs cut off and fed to piggies. What? Oh, uh, Gus. I rather be torn in two by ox cart and have body parts dragged through hot sand. Oh, why you little? I, I kiss you. Kiss you, I sing for you, my fuzzy little bunny. I call you Snookums, but I'd rather have ears burnt off with red hot anvils. I'd rather be hung by Tom. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I sure told her, didn't I, Arlo? Arlo? Arlo, Arlo, you... I'm... You... I'm... I'm a frog, Gus, and you did it to me. But I, I say I kissed her, didn't I? I don't know why she got to get so mad. Maybe it was a part about your ears being burnt off with hot anvils. I can't believe this. Look at me. How am I going to be elected king of the spring fling? If I frog prince, you be frog king. Gus, I'm a frog. I'm a frog because you couldn't sacrifice just one kiss because of all your ridiculous, stupid, moronic, uh, ridiculous... You say ridiculous already. Ridiculous old-fashioned principles of love. You blame this on me? What, what, there's some other frog I can blame? Hey, you're the one who got the witch. I got her for you! Boy, what a society of dweebs. Yeah. I, um, I actually joined the Latin Club once. You? <laughs> oh, 
Ars longa vita brevis. <laughs> what does that mean? Art is long and life is short. <laughs> That's as far as I got. I mean, what's a jock gonna do in a Latin club? Where's Arlo, anyways? I don't know. He hasn't been this flaky since we started dating. How long's that been? Well, it's been three years. Three years? Wow. Well, we're very... committed. My sister dated a guy for three years once. But they weren't committed. They were just... stuck. Look, I better shove off. Tomorrow's another campaign day. Someone picking you up? Well, Arlo's supposed to. Well, uh... Suppose I could walk you home. If you want. Why are you upset? Just get the girl to kiss you. Oh, right. I'm just gonna hop up to the first girl that comes by and say, Kiss me. I'm Arlo Anderson. <laughs> Tell her you king of Spring Fling. Oh, that's so funny, Gus. I almost forgot to blow out my cheeks. Look, it's not my fault girls don't kiss frogs. You know, blame that on me. Oh, I am blaming you. You're the one who can't hold a job, who can't find a date, who's got no place to live. You ask for my help at an extremely tense time in my life. You stay in my house, you use all the hot water, I do everything I can to help you, and what thanks do I get? I get turned into a slimy green frog. But Arlo... Save it, Gus. Just save it. Please, Arlo. Remember, you frog now. You're going to need my help. If I ever see you again, it'll be too soon. Arlo, be careful, Arlo. You frog now. Hop and stop. Whew. Okay, now, don't panic, Arlo. You've crossed the street a thousand times. One, two, three, go! More time? Oh, is there an afterlife for frogs? Is that better? Thanks. Yeah. So who are you taking to the spring flame? I don't know. I mean, uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, it's next week. Yeah, I know. I was going to ask Lisa Campanelli, but she's going to be out of town. And I was going to ask Jane Shapiro, but she's already going to Pete Rivers, so I thought that uh, maybe... You mean one of the candidates for King of the Spring Fling doesn't have a date? Um, I just think you should go with the right girl. I mean, the girl that's right for you. I was thinking about asking Cynthia, but... Oh, there's no place like home. Oh, well, these little suckers come in handy. Yeah, Mom? Oh, you're home. I was worried. I guess I didn't see you come in. Arlo? Hi, Mom. Arlo, where? Uh, under the bed. No, no, Mom, don't look. Uh, whatever you do, don't look. Is everything all right? Don't worry. I, I know this all seems very weird, but there's a very simple explanation. Good. <laughs> what is it? Um, what is it? Well, you, you see, it, it, it's really very simple. I'm 
doing research. Good. On what? On sensory deprivation. Yes, that's right. But, but the only problem is I must stay under the bed, y y you know, to deprive my senses. Just for one day. No, 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 no. Uh, for several days, actually. I have to stay under my bed for several days to really deprive my senses. And, and you must always knock before you enter my room just to make sure that I'm under the bed. You gonna stay under your bed for several days? Well, no. I, I may be gone, but you'll never see me. If I'm not under my bed, then I'm someplace else depriving my senses. Okay? Well, if it's for a scientific experiment... Thanks, Mom. Okay. Good night. Good night. Turn out the lights. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I need all the sensory deprivation I can get. Pretty. Ooh. Arlo? Uh, yeah, Mom. Arlo, I just wanted to say... Oh, I'm not hurting you, am I? Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay, Mom. Good. I just wanted to say something about this experiment. Um, what's that, Mom? It's wonderful. It is? Well, maybe not the part about hiding under the bed for days, but... Um, the fact that you're interested in science again. You and Hannah in the garage. I've missed your old self. I miss it too, Mom. Adolescence is a time of change, great change, a metamorphosis, emotionally, spiritually, physically. I'll say. Henry David said it once, our molting season, like that of the fowls, must be a crisis in our lives. I hear you, Mom. I'm a little worried about Arlo. He's under... You don't have to worry about Arlo. No, but he's under... He's going through some major change-ups. It happens to every player in the game of life. Yeah, I know, but he's you under... You've got to let him be his own quarterback and call his own plays. Annie, your problem is you want to pinch hit for the kid, but you got to let him stand up at the plate himself. Honey, we don't have anything to worry about. The car's almost paid for... I just bowled a 600 series, and our son is growing up to be a normal young man. Then it's okay if he's under the bed? Hup. Susie is never going to believe me. Hup. No one is ever going to believe you, Arlo. Shh. was nothing. Are you alone? Alone? You mean by myself? Arlo, I can explain. I mean, you didn't show up at the Latin Club tonight. Um, I just had one of those real sudden change of plans. Well, I mean, I wasn't planning on this either. Susie, remember when we were talking about kissing frogs? Arlo, I swear, he only walked me home. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Me? Well, I, I, was, I was just wondering if you'd still kiss a frog for me. You mean, symbolically? Uh, let, me, let me put it another way. Would you kiss me? Arlo, we've been going together three years. So, let's just say, if you'd kiss me, and, and let's just say if I happened to be a frog at that moment, then you really wouldn't be kissing a frog, you'd be kissing me. 
wouldn't you? Arlo, what is it you're trying to tell me? I need you to give me a kiss. Tonight. Tonight? It's an emergency. You have to come over to my house. Now, you probably won't recognize me. Arlo. Susie? I'm a frog. Who's a frog? Me? Susie, I I'm a frog. Now, I know this must be really hard to believe all at one time, but I really am a frog. Arlo, just get some sleep. We'll talk about all this at school tomorrow, okay? Susie, tomorrow will be too late. Stuffy is going to eat me tonight. Arlo, good night. Something wrong with Arlo? Well, I think he's just very, very tired. Susie! Susie! Uh, Stuffy, uh, it's me, Arlo. You know me. Uh, Stuffy, sit. <laughs> Stuffy, we're all trying to sleep here. Get out of here. There's no place like home. I gotta get back to the pond. I need Gus. Uh-oh. Hey, Will, look at this. Let's get him. Hey, hey! What's it? I don't know. Put that frog down! Oh! The Boogeyman! Ah! Oh, the new school site. I'm almost there now. A couple more hops, and I'll be at the pond. I want to live, 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 I want to live. Whoa. Gus! 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 Arlo! Arlo! Gus, am I ever glad to see you? I uh, so worry, Arlo. You know, used to be in fraud. Gus, I don't know how you do it. It's not easy being green. Arlo, I apologize for being so stubborn about kissing witch, but... I know, Gus. You believe in Amore, and I respect that. And no matter what happens, we still friends, huh? Still friends. Besides, you're the only frog I know. Hey, it's not so bad being frog. <laughs> it wasn't so bad being a teenager, either. Trust me, 600 years I'm a frog. Time flies. Hey, that reminds me, I'm getting hungry. Hmm? Who's that? Oh, that's Chartreuse. I think she likes you, Arlo. She likes... Oh, no. No. Come on. Let's find something to eat. Gus, I'm not hungry. A nice swim. Take your mind off problems. Gus, can, can we stay here and talk about strategy? Come on, Arlo. You only frog once. Gus! Oh. Um, wait up, Gus! Awesome. A whole other world. It's all the same planet, Arlo. And I still hungry. You see those flies? Um, Gus? I think somebody's following us. Oh, that's Chartreuse again. Why is she following us? I told you, she likes you. Um, Gus, let, let's, let's swim a little faster, okay?
I think we lost her. She's probably too young for you anyway. <coughs> oh, great. Now I even got a frog in my throat. <coughs> Wait, Arlo. The water. It's bad here. Oh. Gus. Gus, look. Let's get out of here. Arlo, I tell you, get out, Arlo. <coughs> Something's poisoning the water. Look, you go warn the others. I'll try to find out what's causing this. Arlo, remember, you frog now. You frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. You ought to gather round all you feather and fin. If you don't sink, you can't swim. Now your old world is caught up in a spin. Water ain't safe to go in. Cause there's poison in here from our natural enemy man. Jump out, jump out. You can tell for yourselves when the smell says farewell. Gotta get out while you can. It's time to find higher ground. Keep moving. This is no place like home. Keep moving. When it's covered with foam, keep moving. You got to swim for your life, so keep moving. Water's <coughs> is getting worse. I must be getting close. <coughs> Sorry, Hannah. It looks like the antibiotics didn't take. He's he's too far gone. I'm afraid. Are you sure there's nothing else we can do? No, I'm afraid we'll have to put him to sleep. No. No. Poor little fella. Yeah. Well, I'll go get my equipment. I'll be right back.
Anna? Don't forget the four for all of Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. King of the Spring Fling. Four for all of. Hey, you wanna watch this? Hey, look at that! <laughs> Hey, isn't that Arlo Anderson? <laughs> Gus! Gus! Arlo? Arlo, Arlo, you're back. You're alive. And you're a man again. Yeah, I'm alive, and I've just humiliated myself in front of the entire student body. So much for spring fling king. Passionata must have gotten deal on underwear. Come on, Gus, I have to get you out of here before you die and I get arrested. What do you mean? Leave Pond? Well, I'll bring you to Hannah. I mean, she kissed me. I'll bet she'll kiss you too. But Arlo, I can't go now. What, what are you, crazy? The pond is poison. I know. That's why I have to get you out of here. But what happened to my friends if I leave? I tell them, you scientist, Arlo, you fix Pond. Gus, no. I, I can't. I'm not a scientist. It's been such a long time. Science is a part of you. And how many scientists have been swimming with frogs? You're the only one who knows what's happening here. Gus, this is life or death. And it's up to you to save us, Arlo. Ask Hannah to help you. You both scientists? There's a boogeyman in there. Really, he talked to us. Bill? Um, no, it's, it's me, Mom. Oh, Arlo. Schmooze just called saying somebody was running around the schoolyard half naked in boxer shorts with red... Hearts. <laughs> Sensory deprivation, Mom. It, it, it's, it's a real mind twister. You're really scary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you must have thought I was some kind of Rubus. We're committed, aren't we? I mean, you're not feeling insecure again, are you? Hey, Arlo, Arlo, look, look. Running around in your box of shorts is not the type of publicity this campaign needs. Arlo, we really need to talk. Uh, okay, okay, we'll talk. We'll talk as much as you want. How about tomorrow? Hey, hey, babe, you're a man of steel. Don't become a tin man on me now. Read it. Oh, that's funny. You want to hear something funnier? Have you read the latest polls? We're 25 points behind. You know, life is a process. It's a circle of constant rejuvenation. Something must pass away so something can live. Every creature has to go through this cycle, so it's just silly to get upset about death. But Arlo, I just wish I would have had some more time. I, I think we could have saved him. I bet that frog is much happier where he is now. How do you know? Look, you, you are on to something with your study. I mean, come on, we have to get to work. The pond is being poisoned, and we have to find out why. Gertrude. 
So, uh, you going to the spring fling? No. I've never really been on a date. Well, why not? Well, scientifically speaking, my intellectual evolutions always have distanced my social development. But I'm only a sophomore. Well, you're really good at science. Science is the key to explaining the world's mysteries. Well, what about the things that science can't explain? Such as? Such as magic. You mean like pulling rabbits out of hats? No, I mean the magic of finding yourself experiencing feelings, sensations, emotions that you've never felt before. As if you've been transported into a whole other world and back again. Magic is an outmoded thought process originated by primitive people to explain the mysteries of the organism, most of which science has already explained. Yeah, well, there are some things that don't have an explanation. Given time and more research, science will be able to explain everything. What's the scientific explanation for what you feel when you meet someone? And it's magic. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, look at this. What is it? It's gasoline. of the Eleanor Roosevelt Center for Learning became a center of controversy today when two industrious high school students discovered old fuel oil seeping into the south end of nearby Grossman's Pond. Hannah Hoppendimer and Arlo Anderson discovered the pond water was being contaminated while doing a routine biology report on the pond's ecosystem. Uh, actually, it was Hannah's experiment. It was Arlo's lab. Um, we're just glad we caught it in time to save most of the plants and animals in the pond. Arlo's sentiments were echoed by contractor Ernie Twittenham, who heads up construction of the new multi-million dollar school. We couldn't be more pleased. More pleased that these kids pegged this before we had laid the foundation. How do you think this could have happened? Well, uh, we had no idea that there was that kind of landfill debris under there, but uh, apparently what happened was the construction punctured some of those fuel drums and the oil must have leached out into the groundwater, which fed into the pond. How much do you think it will cost to clean this mess up? Well, you can rest assured that we're going to make every effort to see that the pond is cleaned and restored, and then we'll be able to get this, this beautiful facility back on schedule. At the high school, a volunteer program is underway to aid in the cleanup efforts. Arlo and Hannah's classmates have been quick to respond. I'm in Hannah's biology class, and she cares so much about ponds and things. We just really care, too, and want to show our support for the planet. <laughs> So it looks like Grossman's Pond has been saved for future generations to enjoy. All thanks to two high schoolers, Hannah and Arlo, who cared. It's a very happy ending. Kathy, Mark. Thank you, Lisa. Another news today, official news. Gus! Um, uh, are you ready? Just a minute, Arlo. Beatrice, I miss you most of all. I never forget you. Never. Okay. I am rich. Oh. Hannah! Hannah! Um, can, can I speak with you for a minute? Sure. Uh, I, I have a really big favor to ask you. Yeah? Would you kiss this frog? Kiss a frog? What kind of favor is that? Well, I know you have a lot of empathy for frogs. Arlo! One little kiss would make this frog feel a whole lot better. I told you he was strange. This is some kind of weird joke, right? No. No joke. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Please? All right. All right. Will you let me get back to work, then? Are you sure? I'm sure. Here it goes. No, I don't want a kiss. I told you frogs could talk. Oh, yeah? What'd it say? 
It said, no, I don't want to kiss. Very funny, Arlo Anderson. I forgot you're a ventriloquist. No, Hannah, look. Look, I know I'm not cute. I know I'm not popular. Let's face it, scientifically speaking, I'm probably a Rubis. But I didn't expect a stunt like this from you. I thought you were different. It wasn't a stunt. It was, it was. It was what, Arlo, magic? I trusted you. I thought you were different. Gus! Arlo, we couldn't be happier for you. Son, I want to tell you something. Whether you're elected king of the Spring Fling or not, your mother and I are very proud of you. And remember, anybody can be king of something or other, but there aren't many fathers who have sons who know all about the isopods and the amphibians. Thanks, Dad. <sighs> Goodbye. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. Honey, our baby's all grown up. Annie, is it me or is his aura a little cloudy? Slow down, you drive too fast. Gus, where have you been? Looking for you. What are you doing? You know you really hurt Hannah's feelings yesterday and you made me feel like a jerk. Sorry. I changed mind that last minute. Oh, that was your best chance to get kissed. Now, now you blew it. Arlo, in this life you have got to do what's right for you. And I have got to be who I truly am. That's why I have decided to stay a frog. Oh. Gus, I can't let you stay a frog. Look at me. Green skin, four legs, big mouth. I'm a frog. But you don't have to be. I mean, I can make you a man again. That's what you want. But Arlo, Prince Giuseppe Bonodono, was born to be frog. Arlo, all day long I sit on lily pad, singing songs to my precious Beatrice. And I sing as long and loud as I want. Her eyes so deep, her skin so green. <sighs> I have song, I have friend, I have amore. Is any prince happier than this, Arlo? Is any king? Now, well, the way I feel, I wouldn't mind being a frog again myself. But Arlo, you no frog. Yeah, but would somebody please tell me what I am? That for you to say, Arlo. 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 Oh. Sorry. Um. Gus, uh... Go on. You can't be late for your friends at Spring the Fling. Beatrice and I will be here. So long, Gus. So long, Beatrice. Arlo, even if you live 600 years, you still have only one life. Live your own life, Arlo. La la, la la, la la, la la, la la, la la. Thank you.
finally spring. A time when everybody's thoughts turns to summer vacation. Oh, <laughs> really, boys and girls. How could he be late at a time like a time this? Doesn't he feel like this is the most important day in his life? After a long... I don't understand. How could you be late on the single most important night of our lives so far? I know. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to talk to a friend. What friend? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Why, is something wrong? I understand that there was some fierce campaigning going on between some very noble nominees. And we were all very impressed by the blood, sweat, and tears Man, that went into this wrong. contest for King of the Spring Lake. Yeah, keep talking, keep talking. And so, let me conclude by reminding each and every one of you, spring is in our hearts, spring is in our souls, spring is Everywhere. <laughs> now, what you've all been waiting for, the king of the 37th annual Eleanor Roosevelt Spring Fling is Arlo Anderson. <laughs> Since 1954, what? an Eleanor Roosevelt tradition, the grand coronation, the spring fling promenade. Congratulations, Harlow. You're king of the spring flank. And you're queen. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah. You know, when we started going together, we were just kids. Yeah, we kind of grew up together, don't you think? Yeah. I think we did a lot of growing up together. Kissing frogs. Going to school picnics together. I can't believe how scared you are in that spook house. All the football rallies. I wish we could stay like we are, like we were. But we can't, can we? Well, I think we both know that we'll always remember our time together.
Excuse me. Um, I know you don't know me, but can I borrow your bike? Sure, Arlo, here. What, you know me? Yeah, we saw you on TV. We're scientists, too. But did you know that science is the key to explaining the world's mysteries? Awesome. is here. Just because we're no longer headline news doesn't mean that the problem is solved. It'll be quite some time before the pond's back to normal. Listen to those frogs. Maybe they're thanking us. Harry, don't be ridiculous. Maybe they are. There's no scientific proof that frogs know gratitude. Well, Arlo thinks frogs can talk. Mention that name again and prepare to die. Well, I think the frogs are thanking us. I think frogs can talk, and I can say Arlo's name as much as I want to. Harry! Arlo, 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 Arlo. Oh. Harry! What is it? Arlo? Arlo? Arlo Anderson, have you lost your mind? What are you doing? This is completely irrational behavior. I... Oh. Love's first impression is suddenly clear when you find Arlo? One night in May. Who, who's singing? What's our worry? Believe me when love keeps you guessing, confessing what's human and kind. Then ties will bind to hearts and minds. When love waits for moonlight and magic. Still don't believe in magic? It's scientifically impossible. Just like some I'm really sorry, Chartreuse, but this dance is taken. You'll know for sure. Yeah.